Alright, so everyone, how's it going? This is RexRoo here, and welcome back to yet another gimmick tutorial, and today we're going to be going over some simple platforming shooter mechanics, i.e. the shooter mechanics of that. And so what we basically have here is a little character, and she can move left and right and jump up and down, just like a simple platform game would. And um, if we collide with one of these ammo boxes here, boop, the animal box automatically, or animal box, ammo box automatically disappears, showing that we've actually collected the ammo box. And if we hit Z... Whoa, we have some bullets going on here emitting from our character, and if we jump up and down, the bullets will follow up our uh, kind of position here and stuff like that. And also, if the bullets collide with the ground here, or the kind of the walls that barricade around the map, they'll disappear, showing that they've kind of been destroyed, and cool stuff like that. And also, you'll notice that I just collected two ammo boxes, which basically makes it so they kind of stack up on ammo, and you have more ammo, and you know, stuff like that. So, anyway, that's pretty much what we're going to be going over today, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and have a game maker and see how this all works, shall we? Alright, so we're inside GameMaker here, and uh, oh, we have already everything pre-made out for the purpose of pacing in this video, don't want to take too long, uh, because it is very simple to do, and uh, although it might look a bit monstrous just by what's going on over here, uh, I can assure you that it is very simple. So, let's go ahead and start over by going off the sprites here. Alright, so actually, I kind of said that wrong. Let's start off by going over the sprites, kind of flip flopping my words here. Um, now, really, um, I don't really need to go over all these sprites. I'll just kind of show them to you. But basically, all these sprites uh, don't really correspond too tightly with the objects themselves. Um, they basically are just here to be sprites. Then, nothing that you do. I mean, you can change up the dimensions. You can make these bullets, like, uh, instead of 8x8, make them like 32x32 32 if you really wanted to. Of course, they just show up bigger on the screen. But, you know, it, whatever you do to kind of change these, whether you change the image or the dimensions uh, it won't really matter too much for the objects themselves so let's go ahead and have the objects here see what's all going on so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the uh, first bottom three objects here then we'll head up to the player and see what's going on there because the first three objects here um, as you guys can see uh, really don't have anything to do uh, too importantly as much as the player so for the OBJ underscore bullet, kind of how this works is, oh, also really quickly, um, the kind of link to download uh, this example I created is going to be in the description below, so you can go ahead and download that if you want to, it's free, I'll just be on, on my website, so uh, anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do here, or what's going on here in the bullet object is uh, basically when it is colliding with the ground, um, it's basically just destroying itself, so just kind of showing that the bullet itself is getting destroyed, and if it's outside the room, it will also be destroyed. Just kind of uh, make sure there's not a whole bunch of bullets that just keep stacking up outside the room if you happen to uh, shoot them outside the room. Alright, so that's pretty much the bullet and the ammunition. Uh, nothing is actually going on here, it's just kind of visible and has a sprite. And uh, for the ground, same thing, except for it's solid, just to ensure that we can actually walk on it. And if you have your own system for this as well, um, for kind of your own movement and gravity and stuff and jumping, um, you can go ahead and apply that as well. But then let's go ahead and uh, we are in the OBJ underscore player object now. And the only thing you really want to have here is, you don't need it persistent, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and save that here. Alright, so in the create event, uh, what we're doing here is setting some variables from the set variable action and uh, our first variable is going to be ammo and we're going to set it to zero it's basically saying that when we first start off when our character first spawns in the world uh, she is going to have uh, or I guess he I suppose or it is going to have no ammo which basically means that we cannot shoot any bullets until we collect more ammo i.e. the ammo boxes so you can um, go ahead and if you want like set it to whatever you want um, if you want to start off with bullets when you first start off so like 15 will make it so you have 15 bullets when you first start and 20 you know obviously 20 bullets, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep it zero for now. Alright, now the next variable, uh, right, is equal to true. This is basically setting which uh, direction our character is facing so that the game knows that whichever direction that we're currently facing um, is the direction that the bullets are going to emit from. Alright, so uh, next thing is just simply setting uh, the direction, or excuse me, the uh, sprite of our player here. Now, you don't really need to have this. Um, this is just something extra, so um, to kind of correspond with this here, so it keeps these things intact. Alright, now the step event is just simple gravity, and um, again, if you have your own gravity, you don't really need to uh, have this. You can just kind of have your own gravity intact. Uh, this doesn't really matter. And uh, for the OBJ underscore ground, this is just collision with the ground. Again, if you have your own ground system for collision or whatever, uh, you don't need this. Uh, let's go ahead and head to the ammunition, though. Alright, so for the collision with the ammunition object, what we're going to go and do is set the variable ammo to 20. And this is pretty much just going to set um, our ammo uh, variable to 20 so that we have 20 bullets and whatnot. Uh, and we can obviously shoot 20 bullets. So <laughs> for the destroy instance, uh, make sure you have it uh, destroy instance to other. And if you guys are a little bit curious about how to do this in code, what you can go ahead and do is just go with other instance underscore destroy and just put these two uh, parentheses and basically you can just go ahead and substitute this 
for that but I'm gonna go ahead and delete that for now and just put it back to where it was uh, but just so you guys don't have to go on a giant Google search spree <laughs> so I forgot how to do that um, but anyway let's go ahead and head down here so this is basically setting our movement so that we uh, can move to the left position here and of course this little thing just kind of situates other sprites and we want to make sure this is this is crucial right here um, you don't need this other stuff you already have your own movement system but you do need this uh, set variable right to false because we're moving left not right and uh, same thing goes for when we are moving right, uh, set right to true, and so the game basically knows wherever we're going, whichever direction, uh, we're moving left and or right. Alright, and the press up, uh, this is basically just uh, some very simple jumping here, uh, just, you know, tutorial wise, I uh, didn't want to put anything too complex in there. If, again, if you already have your own jumping system, you don't need this. Alright, so key press Z, this is the final thing in this tutorial that we need to go over. Uh, this is basically how the shooting itself works. So what we're going to go and do is, in the control event, um, if you don't know where these things are coming from, um, in the control event there's a test variable action, and it's basically saying that if ammo is uh, equal to zero and larger than equal to zero, so basically if our ammo is uh, more than zero, while we're pressing Z, um, we can go ahead and um, test if we're facing right, or down here, false. Um, if we're facing right, uh, we're just going to go ahead and add this create moving and choose your obj underscore bullet object. And it'll basically just set um, to the position right here of where you want your bullets to emit from. So for me, um, it's going to be coming like 5 pixels to the, to the right of my character. And uh, it's going to be going down 15 pixels. And you can change where these want uh, depending um, on where you want the bolt to come from. And speed, that should be pretty obvious how fast the bullet's going to go. And direction, it's going to be zero for me and relative to checked because we're going to be shooting from the right direction. So we're going to be one of the bolts go this way. Okay, and pretty much same things over here, just kind of reversed over here. The direction is going to be 180, so the bullet's going to go to the left, and um, yeah, the ammo is going to also, at the very end, you want to make sure that the ammo is minus 1 and relative. So every time you shoot a bullet, um, it's going to take away when you're from your ammo. So eventually we'll get to 0 and we'll have to restock. Woo, okay, so <laughs> thought that would take a little less time to uh, kind of go over, but whatever, what can you do? And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, eventually, once you have all that down, or if you download the example, um, you'll eventually have something like this going on. And, uh, yeah, that is some simple platform shooting mechanics in terms of the shooting. And, eventually, I might go over some extra stuff, like how to make a blowing up animation, or um, when the bullet kind of collides with the ground or the wall here, as well as making the wall maybe get exploded or whatever, and just cool things like that. So, anyway, for now, guys, this has been Rex Furry. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and until next video, until next time, I'll see you all then.